Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I want to show you how you can create high-catching presentation on PowerPoint by using Morph Animation. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Ok, let's go! Here I am on my PC. I already opened PowerPoint with a presentation that I created for the last conference. Microsoft 365 virtual conference where I was involved as a speaker. I used Morph animation for some slide and more specifically I used Morph to explain several topics. Let me run immediately this presentation. In this way we are able to, to see Morph how it looks like. As you can see here for every icon I I spend, I have time to spend and speak about this specific topic. So the, the animation is that icons move from right, right to left in a horizontal line. The description change according uh, with, the, with the icons. And finally, we have this last one. But how looks like morph in practice in my slides? So I applied morph transition for every every slide and then I applied some icons outside of the slide. In the next in the next one the position change of this icon we have the first one that becomes smaller and move more on the left and the second one become bigger in the center with the description that change the same thing for the third, four, and five slide. So the benefit by using morph transition is that morph take care about everything. So you don't need to to make manually this this effect because morph is able to calculate the position from an object between a slide and another, and and then considering. The, the last, considering the next slide, the morph will apply the, the change for you, will perform the, the animation for you. Let me now start from scratch because I will create for, with you this morph animation. So before to start, let me configure immediately the morph transition for this slide. So then I will select some icons. I will take four icons, Africa, this agenda, and this other one. Okay, now we have this four slide. Let me close the design ideas. Okay, let's start with the first icon. I will take I will put here, let me resize this icon, then I will put this other icon, we can move this icon a little bit outside. Okay, so then here we type something, this is morph, now let me copy and duplicate this slide. So now in the second slide, what we have to do, we have to move this icon because we want to have the, the effect that the icon move on a horizontal line from right to left. So the second one become bigger. The third icon move a little bit more on the slide. In this way we are able to figure out that the third topic is coming. Let me change the description. This is so cool. Okay, so let me duplicate again now this slide in the third one. Africa icon move outside the slide. 
this become smaller. We are on the right, on the same line. Let me resize this other one. This is the next topic to speak. Lorem ipsum. Okay, now we have the last one. This becomes smaller. And finally, we have the last topic in the center where we can change again. Let me just type something for the sake of the, this demo. It's, it's enough. We have just to see that morph change also the the label okay now basically we have a draft of morph as you can see we have this kind of effect effect where the icon move from right to left in horizontal line and the description also change but this is not enough you can work also with with morph to to transform object. So if I go now here on this slide, what I can do, I can change this icon in the in the second again the second slide. Change graphic. I will select another icon. For example, alien. Okay, now we have alien. It's important now that we name the object, the first icon, in the, with the same with the same label. We have to assign the same label for the first icon for every slide. In this way, Morph is able to figure out that we are talking about the same the same object. So let me select this one. If I go on graphic format, I can select selection pane and I can see that the, the label of this is this one of this. So I can insert here double exclamation mark. This is absolutely important. And I can call Africa this first icon. So then I'll do the same here in the third slide. I will change the icon here and I will select another one. This apple here. Okay. Again, we have to check the label name of the second icon now. This one and we you have to use always the double exclamation mark, otherwise Morph is, is not able to figure out that is the same object. Let me copy this label name and I will apply the same for that one. And the same here. So let me check if the first slide has the same the same name. Yeah, in the second one we have to use the the same label name Africa. And here again Africa. So then to have a, a such a transformation also for the label, it's good to check also the name here of the label, we can use always double quotation mark and exclamation mark and then text here. Let me copy and I will apply in every other slide. Okay, so if I run now again this slide, you can see that 
the first icon transform to another alien in this case and again the agenda change in Apple also the description has um, a more fancy transition and this is how it works more very very powerful as animation all right we have seen in this video tutorial how to create nice animation in powerpoint with morph if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future put a comment down below i read them all okay i hope to see you next time bye